Hey, Star Wars action figure collectors. This is Dark Phoenix 619 coming at you with another review. And this time I have the vintage collection Gamorrean Guard that was released in 2011. And yeah, he's, he's been out for a while. Uh, this is a request by fellow YouTuber uh, MKM Films 2009. Um, great, great, great guy. If, uh, if you're not subscribed to him, please, please subscribe to him. Um, great videos, haul videos. Uh, he displays and, and reviews a lot of uh, classic vintage figures. So if you're into that, um, definitely check out his channel and, and subscribe if you like. So um, here I requested this figure um, um, off of my uh, room tour. And it is a fantastic figure. I mean, a lot of reviews have been done on him. So, you know, I decided, we know, for him and definitely to give my two cents on the figure, I decided to definitely review him. So, anyways, um, some of you know I got this at a convention for five bucks. So, of course, the packaging is kind of warped, but I knew I was going to open it. And, yeah, I heard a lot of great things about this figure, and he definitely does not disappoint. Great image on the card back. Really like the lime green that they used. And then, of course, there is the classic vintage collection Gamorrean Guard. And there's a bio there. I mean, a little synopsis on celebrating the legendary Star Wars saga and some of the other figures in the wave. Really want Wicket. <laughs> Hope to find a Wicket soon. So yeah, and has the free Boba Fett. This was re-released recently with the Darth Maul sticker. But even then, I've, I've never seen them in stores. Never, ever, ever. Just that convention was the only time I've ever seen them. And I think he's going for a little bit cheaper. I think I saw Amazon for about 14 or so. So, you know, definitely uh, an affordable figure now. And he's really cool. You know, I would definitely pick up another one of these to keep carded. He is awesome. A lot of people put this guy as one of their top 10 figures, and I can see why. This just the look at the head sculpt. Check that out. I'm trying to see if I can. There we go. A little bit better lighting. I mean, you can't get more screen accurate than that. The paint applications, the detail, the mold, I mean, it's just amazing. The tusks look good. The horns on top of the head are nicely painted on. Just really, really nice. The headpiece looks great. has some weathering to it. Kind of a rusty look. Just amazing. Okay. This, this piece is removable. It falls off easily. I saw uh, the Forces with Jesse put some adhesive putty on his, and I thought that was a really good idea, so I did the same. So thank you, my friend, for that idea, and it stays on pretty well. Other than that, it does, it will fall off easily. Okay. So let's take these off. Okay. Oops. And then you've got this belt strap that comes around. And it's not molded into the plastic, it's, it's a separate piece right here. And this is kind of nice because you can put some weapons back here and, and they stay off for the most part pretty well. So, um, it is removable. So, you can you know, pop off the arms or whatnot. Um, and there's the underside of him. You even got some shading on the uh, shirt there, which is really cool. Some folds, some flaps, just some great attention to detail. Um, the legs look good, got some lines there, kind of give it a reptilian almost look to it, but of course he's a pig, <laughs> and the sandals look good, you know, got little toes there, so, um, one of my favorite parts of this figure, of course, is the shoulder pads, because of the detail, the amount of detail that went into it is amazing, I just can't say that word enough, um, detail, just great detail. So it looks really cool. I like the paint app. The silver looks really nice. There's the back of the figure. Of course, one of the noticeable things about him that kind of turned me off at first, but you know, I've grown to really like it is the the first skirt, the first skirt. <laughs> Say that three times fast. Um, looks like hair. I mean, like real hair. Uh, you know, soft goods piece and I think it looks really good on him. Looks really good. I've grown to really like it. 
especially on the back. If I think it flows really nicely in the back. It feels so soft too. It just feels good. <laughs> um, and then the gauntlets too have some of that same detail. As for um, let's get a closer look at that mug because it's just so cool. Look at those eyes. It just looks like he's looking at you. Anyways, as so for accessories, you get uh, very cool, cool accessories. You get two axes here that are uh, definitely look like they're they've seen some some battle. You got some chips on the blades. Um, not quite sure what's going on here on this one. This it looks like it may not have been painted well, or I don't know if it's supposed to be like that. More of a rustic type look. Either way, I think it looks great, and he holds these very well. This is this is my favorite of the two. Just a great looking piece, and then um, you have this pike staff, which also kind of has a rustic look to it. Good detail, looks good. It's got a little strap here for him to hold it. So, really nice accessories that come with them so so there he is um yeah he's he's definitely worth it Hi highly recommended if you can find him um but like i said affordable more affordable now on amazon i'm not sure about ebay but uh, a definite must definite must really like this figure hope to get another one soon all right so there you have it so until next time um but i'm not sure what i'll be reviewing next but until next time, may the force be with you.